UK government launches health and care visa. The Home Secretary and Secretary of State for Health and Social Care have announced a new health and care visa fast-track visa route for eligible health and care professionals. This new fast-track scheme will permanently exempt health and social care workers from the immigration health surcharge. The health and care visa was created to make it easier and quicker for the best global health professionals to work in the NHS. The new health and care visa will come with a reduced visa application fee compared to that paid by other skilled workers. Home Secretary Priti Patel states that she recognizes overseas health and care professionals' contribution in saving thousands of lives throughout the pandemic. The new visa is part of a new immigration system, which will make it quicker, cheaper and easier for health and care professionals from around the globe to work in the NHS. Secretary of State for Health and Social Care Matt Hancock stated that the UK's health and care system has a proud tradition of welcoming overseas workers. Hancock says he looks forward to welcoming new professionals to the UK. How to Qualify for Health and Care Worker Visa 1. Be a qualified doctor, nurse, health professional or adult social care professional. 2. Work in an eligible health or social care job. 3. Work for a UK employer that the Home Office approves. 4. Have a Certificate of Sponsorship from your employer with information about the role you were offered in the UK. 5. Be paid a minimum salary, how much depends on the type of work you do. 6. Have a confirmed job offer before applying for your visa. Knowledge of English requirement. You must be able to speak, read, write and understand English. You will need to prove your knowledge of English when you apply. What is the length of the visa? Your visa can last for up to five years, and you have the option to extend it when it expires. You will need to update your visa when you change jobs or employer. How to apply? You must apply online. How long is the process? You can apply for a visa up to three months before the day you are due to start working in the UK. The decision process typically takes about three weeks. How much will it cost? 1. Application fee. Oh, up to three years, £232 per person. B. More than three years, £464 per person. 2. Proof that you have enough personal savings to support yourself when you arrive in the UK, usually at least £1,270, unless you're exempt. You will be told how much you need to have when you apply. You will need to have had the available funds for at least 28 days in a row in your bank account. If you can't prove that you have the required finances, your employer can support you instead. The business will need to complete the Sponsor Certifies Maintenance section on your Sponsor Certificate. You must apply for your visa within three months of getting your Certificate of Sponsorship. Documents you will need to apply. 1. Your Certificate of Sponsorship Reference Number, your employer will give you this. 2. Proof of your knowledge of English. 3. A valid passport or other document that shows your identity and nationality. 4. Your job title and annual salary. 5. Your job's occupation code. 6. The name of your employer and their sponsor license number, this will be on your certificate of sponsorship. 7. A criminal record certificate, if you're working in certain jobs. 8. Evidence showing enough personal savings to support you in the UK, for example, bank statements unless your certificate of sponsorship shows your employer can support you. 9. Proof of your relationship with your partner or children if they're applying with you. 10. Your tuberculosis test results if you are from a listed country. 11. A copy of your UK PhD certificate or your unique UK NARIC reference number if your qualification is outside the UK. You will need to apply for UK NARIC reference number through the UK NARIC Visas and Nationality Service. What you can and cannot do with your visa. You can 1. Work in an eligible job. 
2. Take on additional work in certain circumstances. 3. Do voluntary work. 4. Study. 5. Bring your partner and children with you as your dependents, if they're eligible. 6. Travel abroad and return to the UK. 7. Apply to settle permanently in the UK also known as indefinite leave to remain if you've lived in the UK for five years and meet the other eligibility requirements. 8. You cannot apply for most benefits public funds or the state pension. 9. You cannot change jobs or employer unless you update your visa. Occupation code eligible for this visa. Your job must be in one of the following occupation codes to qualify for the Health and Care Worker Visa. 1181, Health Services and Public Health Managers and Directors. 1242, Residential, Day and Domiciliary Care Managers and Proprietors. 2112, Biological Scientists and Biochemists. 2211, Medical Practitioners. 2212, Psychologists. 2213, Pharmacists. 2214, Ophthalmic Opticians. 2215, Dental Practitioners. 2217, Medical Radiographers. 2442, Social Workers. 2218, Podiatrists. 2219, health professionals that are not elsewhere classified, such as audiologists and occupational health advisors. 2221, physiotherapists. 2222, occupational therapists. 2223, speech and language therapists. 2,229, therapy professionals that are not elsewhere classified, such as osteopaths and psychotherapists. 2,232, midwives. 2,231, nurses. 3,111, laboratory technicians. 3,213, paramedics. 3,216, dispensing opticians. 3,217, Pharmaceutical Technicians. 3,218, Medical and Dental Technicians. 3,219, Health Associate Professionals Not Elsewhere Classified. 6,141, Nursing Auxiliaries and Assistants. 6,143, Dental Nurses. 6,146, Senior Care Workers. Hope you found this useful.